All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I'm building on the success of last week. We're going to do Find a Better Move, part two. And so just for all of your Go learning pleasures, I found an, an, a game between two 14 cues. Yes, it's my level. <laughs> <laughs> Let the peasants rejoice. Uh, the, the, I think the hard part about 14 cube games is sometimes they play moves that like I've never seen before or never really thought of, and that's going to happen several times in this game. Or they're going to play a move, and we're all going to collectively like scratch our head and be like, "Is that good? <laughs> I didn't think to play there." Uh, so you're going to have some very unnatural looking moves that. It's gonna be hard. To, it's actually gonna be hard for some of these to say that they're definitively bad. So, you want to see what they do? Yeah. All right. So far, so good. Look at that. We got opposing, or uh, yeah, I guess Komoku, or yeah, Komoku and Hoshi's cross game. War of two completely different styles. Black takes territory. White's like, I got you. Black's like, that was tasty in that corner. Let's do some more in this corner. This move. <laughs> all right, getting that 14Q mindset. You've been watching these robots play all these games. What do the robots like to do? Free, free, and take. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a move. It's a little strange. So why not just play there directly? <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, clearly, I think this, if you're going to play in this corner, this would be the natural move. This, or maybe this. Um, but over here, this is, all, this is also a really big move. All right, you have this formation wanting to build this way, this formation wanting to build this way. I really like this move, or maybe this move. Well, something, something on this side of the board feels very good. If you're, if you're not going to enclose this way, over here. But yeah, our 14 Q play there. So, and uh, black plays here. You ready for it? Find a better move. You guys are not with me when I say that. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with that move? Yeah, what's wrong with this move? This move looks great, right? K17 would be better. Should we go farther? Yeah, this, this is actually too close. This is... L17 even? If you're gonna play this move, you have to play at least there. Huh. Yeah. Think of this uh, like a two stone wall. Two stone walls like three space extensions. And there's so few stones in this board, you can kind of play as far as you want and be fine, right? Your stones are all very flexible. Um, you have to play at least the three space, I think. Two space, this is, this is real groveling. Uh, this, I'm gonna, I'm, I might nickname this game the Squirrel Game because these players really like their own little acorns that they're holding on to. Like it's this, this is, this is my acorn. I, I gotta do a better voice this whole time. This is my acorn! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's, that's what we're gonna call this one. All right, this, this is my acorn! <laughs> okay. You guys not see it? Squirrel Game? That's where we're headed. Uh, I think this move though is also very good. This far is this far would be the human natural move. I don't know what robots would do in this case, but this would be the, the human expected move. So very, very small, very little thinking. You know, little I picture just a little acorn with his little oh no, sorry, little squirrel with his little acorn. And you end up with thinking like that. Alright, what do you think White did? Protected the other three three? Uh <laughs> Uh, maybe N17. N17? That's okay. I think I think we've come this far, or at least, uh, definitely at least to the M line, and feel fine. Like 14 double though. Hmm? I'm thinking like 14 Q though. Are oh, you thinking like a 14 Q? Well, think. Well, how strong are you? 18. <laughs> <laughs> So as an 18 Q, you're gonna think like a 14 Q. Well, this is this seems, this seems dubious. <laughs> this there's one thing that I know about 14 Q. Yeah. At least make less mistakes than I do. Okay. Left side seems big. 
Yeah, I think, I think this, is, this is a natural area and this is a natural area. Both of these are natural areas. Um, we don't like letting our opponents usually have double link formation. Something like this is a very nice way to build a large amount of territory, right? And you have a corner enclosure plus extensions on both sides. Uh, coincidentally, this formation, again, is wanting to go in this direction. This formation kind of wants to go here and wants to go here, so this area is also very big for black to develop. Um, so white, white does play over here, and this is a general correct direction, um, but it's, again, very small. It's uh, This is my acorn! And a move. All right, you guys are gonna get hold of this real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, black, it's like, oh, I know double wings are really good. Oh, first, is there a better move for white? I think we already kind of covered some. Do you have a favorite? Maybe here, maybe here. Mm -hmm. Maybe even shoulder hit? Okay, I see. over here, anyways. <coughs> All right, here we go. Black plays this one. This is a better move. Uh, white is asking for this much territory. And if white just wants to protect the acorn, you should let him have that acorn. That acorn is a lot smaller than this watermelon. Squirrels eat watermelons? No, I don't know what squirrels eat. Squirrels even eat acorns? They eat acorns, right? Yeah, but there was a yeah. you know, squirrel that did kind of pizza. Okay, <laughs> so this is the pizzas. Do I have an acorn or a pizza? <laughs> so yeah, you have all this power backing up. There's nothing in danger on the board. You can play close to your opponent as long as it has follow-ups. And if white wants to get into a fight here, you know what, that's fine. You're, you're fine getting into a fight, not a problem. You're, you're, you have the first move coming into the fight. You have, you're, you're one step ahead. So, black should play these here. Instead, black's a little bit too much like. This is my turn. Right? Yeah, see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, white. Oh, uh, any other better moves for black? Anything else you'd want to play? Left side again. Yeah, this is also really big. Look at all these stones here. Look at all these stones here. This is very developable. Whoever gets it. So, there should be a gold rush to this side. Anyway, black wants his little acorn. White? Gold rush. No. <laughs> no gold rush. That's around the move for us to say do not. Oh. Well. C9 was what I was going to say do not. This is better, right? If you're going to continue up here, this is better. But at this point, certainly this anything over here feels more important. This side, you know, pick a move. <laughs> um, but over here, this would be the more natural move. And the nice thing about this move is later on, uh, we can even play this move and invade. We can, we can break up Black's little acorn. Because we have a helper friend. Um, this is also a good move later on. If we want to just reduce all these into even smaller acorns. Uh, so maybe this one as well, or this one. Basically, at some point later on, I want to stress the later on, we're going to play something in here. And to do that, we don't necessarily want to make black really strong yet, otherwise we're going to get counterattacked. So instead, we'll just take our stuff and threaten something later. But in any event, this is a better thing to do. Uh, black plays here. This is okay. Uh, I think black could probably stand to be more severe here, or even here. But this is fine. Well, I'm not going to even ask for a better move. I think that's. A good exchange for black. The acorn has now become even bigger, right? With standing here. There's a computer company called Acorn. Hmm? There should be a computer company called Acorn. There, yeah, it'd be like an Apple imitation company. <laughs> yeah. Small, Apple, smaller versions Apple. of all the Apple products. Computer. Yeah. Uh, white stands. You guys like this move? Find a better move. Left side is still. Mm. Yeah, you, you, I think you're, you're still Tanuki here. Locally, this might be better. If 
you can give a response. You could still Tanuki here if you want to follow up. You know, that's you, you've, you've at least completely solidified your territory and left defects. You can now reduce white or black later if you're going to plan on a move here. Um, one problem with this move is that black's going to play another move. Black plays here, uh, which I think is okay. This would be more natural, but this is fine. <coughs> and so again, see the watermelon? Like white, white was just saying, I want a really big acorn now, but gives up watermelon. How is it watermelon and acorn? Why is it a watermelon and acorn? Lower, lower the shape I'm, looks like. I'm just saying. I'm just saying this is a really big area. Oh, oh, and acorn, and then the white smaller. Like, like this started out as this area, right, for white, and any any of these little small areas that we're gonna, you know, tuck ourselves into and, and say those are mine. I'm calling those acorns today because oh, okay. we're calling this the squirrel game. <laughs> but. White decided this acorn wasn't big enough. He wanted this acorn too. Like he wanted an acorn here and an acorn here, like two little territories, all connected. Now it's one medium large territory, but in the process he up for a really humongous moyo. Hmm. So does that mean at some point they'll actually uh, fight over one acorn? Uh, well, fighting, fighting is an interesting word choice. White's gonna play here. Because White's having a, oh, I, <laughs> you're getting a lot more food than I am. <laughs> right? This is bigger than this. It just extends further out. So I have to reduce it right now, immediately. Well, no, you probably don't have to reduce it immediately. It's still probably best to play over here. Um, but that's what White played. Is that, is that a move that you play now instead of playing on the left side? No, I play left side. Shoot there. Yeah, I didn't play there. Like, this isn't solid territory yet, and Black can kind of make it solid territory. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, it's a big move. I, I can't really complain too much about this move. Like, like, it's a move. It's a choice. I think there's probably better points to reduce it, certainly more severe points. Maybe go a little bit deeper, a little bit riskier. But White plays here. The next move for Black is the really interesting one. Because Black's response, acorn. <laughs> so find a better move. Find a better move. H14. Global context or global context. Both. So H14 is okay. Um, I was looking at the attachment, but then I wonder what, why we play that. Uh, this attachment? Yeah. H14 is better than the attachment. Yeah. Uh, Maybe H15. I think I might, might get white a little bit more. That, that relationship between the uh, 11 stone is kind of. Yeah, there, there's, there's, there's a, this is a very thin area on both sides, right? Yeah. You don't so, want to attach the weak stone. Yeah. And this this is also even thinner though, right? Yeah. Like I think Nick is looking at this and going, well, this is at least better shaped, right? Large knight and two space, that's better shaped than a large knight and a. The goal is just to super make, elephant. Make him run around oh. so you can. A woolly mammoth. Yeah, and so and so black really is thinking I'm attacking at a distance, but this is a really small thing to gain, right? We're actually not really attacking very hard. Um, I also think Tanuki is an option for black. Uh, another option for black is actually maybe lean on this. That looks like it's a really slow move, but it actually sets up uh, kind of a nice follow-up here or here. Just continue leaning on this and get really strong, and then once we get really strong, then we can attack this without any fear. Um, I think that's a, that's a shape possibility. Left side. Uh, I really, yeah, I would, I would still just go, okay, you want to reduce that? Fine, I'll, I'll play the... <laughs> biggest area of development. But black played here. And I might say, aha! Going to be a little squirrel and run around inside your tree. What do you think of this move? It doesn't really force a response from black. It doesn't force a response. It doesn't get you a lot yet, and it, we're also giving up more severe moves. Later on, you might want to play here. 
or here, or here, or here. And if we start running around and getting black too strong, we're never going to have the opportunity to do any of those things. Um, or even here. Right? It's a little bit far away for this to work immediately, but these are, these are there are more severe things to aim at. This is a very, very light, lightly uh, staying out of trouble and trying to make our weak stone a little bit stronger. It's OK. Um, but I still think Tanuki. Yes, find a better move. Don't bother responding over here. What do you think Black did? Uh, G17, another acorn? Uh, F17, you mean? Yeah, just the Black just responds okay. like, yes, these are my acorns. All of them. If, if, uh, if Black doesn't do that and White cuts through, is Black maybe in some pressure then? Not really, because Black played this stone. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I can see a sequence where Black plays even here first. So, so if white tried to poke through, black's just fine, I can make white on both sides. Yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I would probably respond to this move if so I follow black. Yeah. Like, I'd probably respond. Because um, now, yeah, it's, it's white is only a target. There's not, there's not a lot for white, for, for else white to do here. Um, but white's going to try things. White's going to play here on the next move. This move, I'm not so sure about. Because I'll show you where black plays in the game as the response. And instead of maybe finding a better move for white, let's find a better move for black, and you'll see why this is probably not a good idea. Find a better move for black instead of this. This makes sense, right? Look at all my acorns. H15. H15, here. Uh, so this is, I'll say, not my favorite. But if, you, if you're thinking like this, you have, you have some fighting spirit. I appreciate you. But I think there's a better move. G16. G16, no, I think I like G15. this one better, actually, in this case. Hmm? G15. No. No. Think bigger. Remember? Yeah. We're working on a watermelon. Wanna do kale weapon or something in that area? Oh, this! Why not here? Are you scared that white's going to come this way? If you are, you have failed at go. <laughs> White is a worm inside a inside a watermelon at a Gallagher comedy set. <laughs> Only people over certain age got that. Oh man, that's a funny joke, right? <laughs> twenty years ago. <laughs> yeah, I think you play here. Say, so, look, you're trying to struggle in pieces. You don't, your pieces are not connected yet. I'll tell you what, you can even connect your pieces, but you're gonna die as a whole. <laughs> so black should just take the outside. And if white wants to jump out, you know what, that's fine. You can just keep pressure on, or you can even play a shape move and cut it off. Uh, even there. Uh, maybe there? This one might be a little bit too much to ask for, but especially if you don't have moves like this already in place. Um, but I think you pressure from the outside, because this shape is really thin. You're, you still have a target. These two stones are not weak, as long as these are weak. And until white presses down, you always have this emergency connection. And even if white presses down and has shape to do it, you have this emergency base over here. So you can just attack on the outside. You have plenty of space for your stones. White feels all the pressure. Unfortunately, black played here. If you wanted a better way to get these white stones out, like if that was the most important thing to do right now, what moves would you look at? H15 or J15 maybe? H15, 
Uh, so actually, better than H15, now, this one might be better. I know I said this one was bad, but this one might be better than this one. Any reason why? They're more connected. They're a little bit more connected. That's not necessarily a good thing, because if they're all going to die, they're still all going to die. So that doesn't necessarily matter. But um, before, you wanted to play moves like here, right, for black? Right. This move actively kind of actually prevents those sorts of peeps. It's a little better for our shape. Um, but either way, like we're, we're threatening to push through here, or we're threatening to push through here. Right? If I play this one, I want to push through here. If I play this one, I want to push through here. Yeah, I guess you said you're, they're more connected, right? So that, that is good. <laughs> uh, but if I push through here, there's the danger of me making this stronger in the process, which makes this much weaker. Would you rather have this here, or would you rather, sorry, would you rather have this, or would you rather have this? That's white. Definitely that one. Yeah. Probably this one. And so for that reason, I would say this is actually better than white's, the white move white came up with. But either way, this, either way this, you're probably getting counterattack, right? Black should not submit, and black should play something over here like this. Uh, so you said this one, H15. H15 is really slow, but it's good shape. So maybe um, this might be a good time to ask uh, a probing move instead of rescuing these immediately. Uh, it might be possible. All right, I don't have a really good probing move right now. Never mind. Uh, how about something like this? Well, it's tempting black to cut us off, right? Yeah. But the thing is, even if black tries to cut us off, you know, maybe now moves like this become better, right? Or moves like this, or moves, you know, there's, there's other choices here. We don't really care if any one of these stones dives very much, right? We're not very invested in these. And so as long as we can counterattack somehow, uh, say, for instance, a move like this, um, if black were now to counterattack, right, we have this stone here to run to. Like we're, we're actually in a much stronger position to play a move like this. So this is my point, is that play a move that's really flexible and gets you out, and it, it makes it really cumbersome for your opponent to actually cut you off. Like this move is really hard for black to kill us like, and, and feel good about it. We have a lot of counterplay. Um, so, I like that, these kinds of moves. Before you're thinking like this. This is running like a Q player. This is, I'm just gonna make my glob of stones bigger and slower and it's just a dinosaur just trying to lumber, you know, past the velociraptors on the outside. I want to be the velociraptor. <laughs> and if Black tries really hard, you know, to cut us off, you know, it's probably possible. Let's say a sequence like that. But look, we're gonna get some compensation here. Even if we give these two stones up. Uh, well, here. Maybe take, maybe even, can't quite play that right? That overplay? Overplay. It's there. I feel a lot better about this as white. If you're really flexible, you'll end up with positions where you can either counterattack or get you know wall, a wall around the outside, right? Some strength on the outside. That's really what we're after, right? Get something more strength-inducing. Okay, I played here in the game. Black played here because this is my acorn. I played here because <laughs> well, the stone's gonna get cut off, right? And clearly, I'm a Q player and I care about every single stone, so. Oh, this is a great time to play something like this. <laughs> sure, still, just get out. Don't, don't fret. This is making ourselves really heavy. Uh, in the game, black played here. 
How do you feel about this? You like it? No, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I would think that maybe black is not thinking really big, but white caps be thinking smaller. Nobody is thinking big here. Nobody is thinking big. Yeah, yeah, not even close. Cool. I, uh, I think I think it might be worth continuing here. Like I, I would I would say turning actually makes white uh, give you some more free stuff. Because it's way off the hot there. Uh, this is a this is a tough read because it's push cut Haji, but I think this is actually an overplay. I haven't read any of this out like officially. But... Um, here we go. Fight reading. How bad is this push? And the answer looks no. Say you say it again. Like, like that, this doesn't look like it works for white, right? So not quite enough strength. Is my is my assumption? Because this, this this hole here isn't a big enough defect. But today we are in the land of acorns, so black white's here. You really want white to play over here, right? This, this yeah, actually starts right. to look like a really nice move given all these exchanges. Now it looks really good, right? Now you can see like why I want to play there to begin with. Uh, Q players often need to put all the stones on the board to find the shape points. <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> but clearly black defended his defect. So we need to defend ours. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Did <laughs> my <laughs> Black is just so happy getting third line territory here. It's all he wants. He wants to sit in his own little part of the woods, just storing up for the winter. <laughs> kind of oblivious to what's going on in the rest of the world. That's it. These are, these are not like the squirrels that we have around my work. Because those squirrels fight. <laughs> those squirrels are nasty. <laughs> these are a very different type of squirrel going on here. All right, white plays a pretty interesting move here. This is like one of the probe type moves I was thinking earlier. Before, before we just really define the shape, before we get really strong, let's actually make our opponent ask some really difficult questions. And this is the one he comes up with, and I think it's okay. Um, Black Power responds really bleakly. This is my icon. <laughs> Very submissive. In this case, Black can play here. Yes. Uh, or even here. This might even be better. Uh, because if White wants to save the stone, he can really only save it this way now. And uh, it looks like these three stones are getting weak, but we can make them stronger pretty uh, you know, easily with the move like this. But furthermore, um, white doesn't have, you know, guaranteed eye space yet. White can make eyes, but it's... Black can harass white into making eyes, and therefore this is still kind of strong. I just think black can even play this move. Um, black just comes underneath, which again is a little submissive. Uh, white even plays here. And black crawls again, just trying to link up, keep everything strong. And now, of course, white gets to come back and play this move. And black is just defending all these little points all throughout here. And white even plays another move. Does white, does black need to respond to this one? Yeah. No. Not really not. Are you going to cut here? Pull back. Descend. That's fine. 
I can take this Atari. Uh, or I can try this Hane. Oh, black noise is descent here. This is still just a connection. These stones in the corner still don't live. So, you know, white, white will push you around a little bit, but you're, you don't have a real problem. Like, you, you actually have ways to deal with any, anything white can do. You're strong enough. You've played enough little stones here to keep everything just strong enough. Black doesn't know that, so black plays this move. And goes, hee <laughs> hee, And it looks big, right? Uh, 10? Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, it's like 28 points. That's, that's a lot of acorns. But you gotta feel like this was really lackluster for black. How many points did white get over here? Uh, it's a little bit less than 30. 18? It's more than 18 though. All right, if we go one, two, three, four, five, six times three, there's 18. Plus there's probably another six in the corner at least for 24, maybe another two or three over here. So we're probably like 26, 27 points. Um, so even though white can still be attacked here, this group, this white group is hard to attack at this point, at least directly. It takes us two or three moves to set it up, a really strong attack. Um, so you know how we, we, when we talk about white was just caring about this territory, but was going to give black all this and this side was much bigger, this has all been reduced. This has all gone away just because black was way too submissive and never turned the fight, uh, or never turned on a fight, just took his acorns and left. It didn't even take Sente, right? Had to play this one at the end. At least he felt like he needed to play it to defend. So, you ready? Hmm? All right, good job for white for Tanuki. That's good. Uh, it's on a very developable, highly, highly desirable side of the board. Well, but what's the problem? That's really weird. That's really weird. Is it good? Mm, probably not. Yeah, black should counterattack. So where should white have played? Where's the more reasonable place? Yeah, on the third line. Probably not reasonable either. You're still going to get attacked here, right? As well as, I don't know why, but I look at M3. M3? This is better, but I think, I think you, you want to play there instead. If you're going to play third line, this is a good move. This is a good move. This is a good move. Probably one of these three are your main candidates. Or you're going to come over here and do something like to actually attach. <laughs> and provoke a reaction and do something like this. Here, maybe here. You're gonna just leave those there as Aji. So if black does come on this side, now you can use these to make a base. If black's gonna take the acorns, you're just gonna build something bigger over here. Black's like, that's mine. You go, that's great. Uh, we're putting that one there. Bigger. Yeah? All right. So when white plays here, it's a little, it feels really close. It's really, really close. We don't have a good plan. Um, and unlike this move, that really forces a, a response. Right? If black doesn't respond, we're gonna get all sorts of free stuff and make good shape. This move doesn't really quite do that. And so black plays this one. Find a better move. M3. M3 is a little bit better. I really want to play high. I have this, I have this feeling that, uh, that high is important. Um, I don't think M3 is bad. Uh, Do we want to play like M or like L? Yeah, I like, I like that move a lot. Maybe that one. One of the reasons why I really want to play high uh, is that I already have a stone on the third line, undercut it. If white tries to make a base or make eyes down here, I already have them undercut one move. 
playing two moves means I just have him undercut twice. He's not going to try to make a base ever. So instead, I want to play high and try to, you know, net net the fish. Uh, if you if you want to, cat, you got anyone anyone have aquariums? How many fish? No, fish are smart. You just like gecko. Okay, you probably do the same thing with the gecko because you, if you want to take him out mm -hmm. of his terrarium, what do you have to do? Have to like open the cage and like take his tail. <laughs> All right, never mind. It's entirely different than fish. <laughs> it's an entirely different experience. <laughs> no, if you have fish, you get your little fishing net, and you got to scare them into the net. All right, put the net over here. Just make them cool with it. Take another net, or something else. Start making a bunch of noise over here. Scare them just out of the tank, and you catch them. That's what we're doing. Okay. We got it. We got to. Uh, triangulate them or something, right? Here's our fish. Well, I thought maybe that was why they a distracting move to oh, never mind. <laughs> so why this would be a distracting move, right? This would be the, because White really wants to come back and play here. Yeah. And so we're going to try making a mess first and say, hey, clean up my mess. I'm a dirty toddler. Yeah. And then, <laughs> haha, no, I'm not. I was in disguise. This is my real move. Yeah. This isn't really distracting. We can, we can just immediately start attacking. Uh, black played there, and white played here. Yes. Yeah. Find a better move? I like it. Yeah, that's a pretty good move. This, this black missed the opportunity. Because uh, now who has a base over here and who doesn't? So this is black, black got tricked in this little exchange. Of course, it's black's move, so black has time to play here. Yes. And so black gets a base too. Uh, and then, I, I, I can't really say this move is bad, this move is fine. You might be tempted to jump out uh, instead of making a base. And if White's like, oh, well, no base for you, you probably actually have time now to play something over here and undercut the white base as well. So you can go right back to that situation where no one has a base and fight. Uh, so also possible. And in this fight, it kind of looks like this is the nearest stone that makes a difference. I guess this one makes it, this one helps that stone too. But, um, Feels like it's an okay fight for black, that's all I'm saying. Uh, but black didn't, black, this is my acorn! All right, did the thing we expect. And then white played here. What do you think of this move? So white wants to make black stronger? Uh, well, white's, what is white really trying to do? Trying to get a base for himself. Yeah, really, really just trying to get a base really quickly. And so this is one of these moves. I, I really meant I really should have put this in the robot to see what it thinks of because I can't really say this move is bad. Like it actually it is use, it's a useful exchange. It's kind of bad shape. Um, in the game, black plays here. I think black can also contemplate playing here though. Because if white really wants to just hey make room for a base, this prevents white from getting what he wants. In the game, black played here. And then if white plays here, like white actually feels pretty good, and we can really think about attacking this, like this is a black has to worry. It's not how the game went, of course, because, well, first of all, I, th I still think black should kind of play here. Um, this step. <laughs> uh, threaten that, but white's next move is over here. What do you think of this one? sort of move you make when you want to build some influence on the outside. So there's not a whole lot to build there, I don't think. It's ambitious. It's trying to do a bunch of little things, but it does a really poor job at doing any of them. I think one thing is, is trying to help this group. All right, see these three stones? They're not quite settled yet. So hey, let's put a stone nearby. Clearly that has to help. Except it doesn't really help. At least not as much, because this stone also has no other friends. This stone can also be cut off and, and fought over. Uh, this space is a little bit on the large side, right? I think black can play over here, even just here, and all of a sudden white, this stone feels lonely again. So I'm not sure, I think this, this stone doesn't have a lot of options. If black takes you know, one of them away, this stone basically has to run or connect. Um, can we build this over here with this white stone? White gets another move. And white, how, what's, what's the next move for white to build this? 
This is my icon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, black camera cuts there. So we didn't actually get any points over here. This is actually very hard to build, right? If you and if you build it this way, well, <laughs> here, here, and you peep, throw a stone in the middle. Like the spacing, of this is very awkward for for white to to build. Black can reduce it wherever you go. So I'm not I'm not in love with this move. And I think I think this is a good move. That's that's my better move because now th these two stones feel a lot more pressure, and I feel a lot safer. I'm safer. There's more pressure on my opponent. For 14Q, if you consistently play moves like this that make yourself stronger and your opponent weaker, you will have a lot of just really simple, nice winning games. You play stuff like this, you're gonna have a lot of complex games where you're gonna have no clue who's winning at any point, and nor it'll just come down to a coin flip. Well, if you make the other move, uh, this, this, let the black take a big bite out of the bottom. How big? There? Uh, maybe one, yeah, right there, maybe. Okay. But this is still black up there is still defensible, is it not? Yeah, but black's gonna suffer for a while. Like black shouldn't die. But basically white's gonna get a giant wall running the whole length of the middle of this board. Okay, so and it gets super strong. So expanding the black's uh, scope in the upper section is probably worth not going for the little bite on the bottom. I I think this is an okay idea. However, this is where the this is the direction of play right now. Yeah. Um, but maybe maybe says no. There's no way for you to make this useful, and therefore, you know, I'll suffer with those two stones for a while. May a black place on top there, and white has a choice between responding to that and getting it or taking the bite on the bottom, right? Yeah. If, if, white, if white decides to go on the bottom, black gets even more on the top, so it's even. Well, but even by more on the top. Oh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, but this is this is pretty small. This is this is not very many acorns. <laughs> right, like two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten acorns with two more moves. This gets ten more acorns with one move. Well, this is this is where I'm trying to figure out what the overall. Which is which? Yeah, it's 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 a question of urgency versus large. Oh, okay. So it might be urgent on the top. I think I think this is more urgent. Okay, large on the bottom, but urgent on the top. Yeah, I think. Oh, so, so here's the other thing. White doesn't have to just build a wall here. There's other variations that are more severe. For instance, if white plays here, what do you do? Go this way. You scream. <laughs> you don't go this way, right? So you go this way. And then do you fix here? Fix here? What do you fix? Probably here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right, but now if white gets this stone, maybe this time we now play this move. Yeah. And play something where black doesn't get eye space and has to run out. See yeah, how this stone might be <laughs> very helpful in hemming black in. So black does have a potential problem there. Yeah, this, yeah, this is urgent. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to show you. Like, like white can do things to uh, give black a very difficult time. And even if even if white doesn't do any more severe things, just as a simple thing of even just you know leaning on. The stone here. But this is this is still going to involve a lot of suffering, right? <laughs> black will end up with very few points, and white will have every single white stone on the board will become very strong after that. Because um, even this wall, just the fact there's a giant white wall here, will be very difficult to attack. Um, so I, don't know. I feel I feel it's a it's a question versus big versus urgent. This is this is this is the weakest group on the board. This is where your eye should naturally go to. As a player around this level. Yeah. 
I, I don't have a good sense of when it's okay to kind of leave that two two space extension and, and play elsewhere. All right, here here's but a. I'm, I'm seeing this now yeah. because there's so many white stones. Around. There you go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> white has a two stone base over here. How does this look? Good. Done. <laughs> don't yeah. leave it. Uh, two stones here. White, 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 white. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> two space, not not strong anymore. So it's two spaces would have worked out at fringe. If you have space, two spaces is all you need. Yeah. If if you are already hemmed in and there's there's people looking on your two spaces and having very tasty thoughts, hungry thoughts, you're not it's not so safe. Uh, all right. Black's response to this move, right, isn't to come in between or to make this group uh, more solid or attack this group. It's to play here. Mm. It's a really interesting move. That's the armpit hit. Mm. What do you? What do you? Do you, can you guys explain what the fourteen Q is thinking here? I think white's he really likes like to jump thinking? by two spaces. What's, what is Black's thinking here? He wants to go two spaces away from his other stone all What the part time. of the board are you on? What part of the board? Yeah, sorry, I kind of lost focus. Oh, right here, right here. He always wants to go two spaces away from his third line stone. I, I, that's just his thing, right? Yeah. This is my coin. <laughs> well, he saw that white stone was weak, like you were saying before. Yeah. And he wants to attack it while still maintaining some, maintaining some yeah, connection. He had to do something. Yeah. <laughs> This is not connected, right? Yeah. Uh, however, it should be noted that Black does get stronger. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> white doesn't do this. I don't know why. Oh, does White do this? Oh yeah, this is the hell on. They do kind of do this. I don't like this move. Um, there's definitely a time and a place for it. But this does not feel like it. Uh, white does indeed push. Yeah. <laughs> this is my new acorn. <laughs> <laughs> white doesn't know what to do here. Black is <laughs> only seeing your two spaces. White is just like trying to slap the acorns out of this little squirrel's hand at this point. <laughs> Uh, this this is you don't need to do this. Um, so I think I think a move like this is actually quite good. It might. It, I mean, this is the thing that looks good to my eye. It's good shape. Um, the reason why I, I say might though, I'm, I'm hesitant, is because you saw when black descended here, white actually got to destroy the corner too. So it's not like black is rushing to play here because then his corner will be destroyed. But this, this move really helps these two stones and just guarantees there's not two eyes down here. It's uh, very about, powerful for that what reason. What about S7 from right here? S7, yeah, let's play find a better move. That's, that's what we're doing, right? That's S7? right next to it. Seven? That one. Uh, it doesn't make the same nice shape for white. But it threatens both the... Yeah, but this is only, re this is only really threatening endgame. Right? So if White Monkey jumps the corner, I can still live? For sure? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not threatening enough. Yeah. So I really, I mean, I really, I really do want to have that move for White. Right? The difference between this one and this one is actually pretty large in terms of the, the health of that corner. So if, I, so if this one is only end game points, doesn't really threaten the health, then I kind of want to play that one. Um, another another thing we can do here is just strengthen both, right? I think that's reasonable. It feels really soft. I mean, if you're playing double-digit Q games, you're not looking for every ounce of efficiency. You're just looking for you to be strong and your opponent to be weak. And so I can justify that move certainly in a double-digit Q game. Like I, I would rec I would recommend this move. I don't. This is not the best move. Um, it screams of, of inefficiency. But man, what a nice way to keep yourself in, out of trouble and keep your opponent in trouble. That's very patient. Uh, anyway, we got this. And so instead of trying a hot egg, black just crawls. And white comes on top again. So I don't like any of this. 
I especially don't like this move. This one, this one really kind of bothers me. Um, because what if black plays here now? Are you going to descend as well? I mean, this, this is a good exchange for black, right? Uh, maybe here now? Mm, I'm not. Like, this looks good for black. <laughs> maybe white can try this, but again, this stone just gets completely cut off. And black is not quite at two eyes, but is certainly out enough and has one eye to be fine. So, uh, I, think, I, I, I don't know, I still, I still like this move. If we're going to play another move, this is also a good move in this case. This is probably better than this one. This, this stone is already weak. This is uh, white telling black, hey, 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 your weak stone. It's pretty weak, right? I don't like that one. What does black do? Oh yeah, black just plays here. I think this move's better, but sure. We're gonna crawl on top and do this sort of thing. And black's like, hey, I'm gonna get surrounded. Do you guys like this move? White pokes here. Yeah. Next move for black. There? Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, I'm not saying that that's what should have been done. I'm just oh. saying that the way this game is going, it just seems to be that's maybe with this white Actually, the way this game is going is that white plays somewhere else and black just comes back and fills. This, fills. <laughs> no, that's, that's not, that's, I'm just, <laughs> none of this happened. I don't think this poke is actually good enough for white in this case. Like, I think, I think, I think black, actually, it actually helps black live right now. Um, because once you poke and black fixes, you can't, you, black will get two eyes. Um, so later on, there's actually this peak. When you have a stone here and a stone here, you can peep here. All right, which is kind of cool. Like black, only respawn there. And so you can see that this will collapse down the one eye. But we don't want to. We don't want to collapse black yet. We want to get some stuff on the outside first to make sure we know we want to kill black. Um, so we don't want to play this immediately. If we, if if we were going to play here, play here immediately, yes, this would be a good move. But because we can play here and make the whole thing one eye. We're not, we're not sure we want to play this shape yet. Um, white plays here in the game. Is that a good move? It finally expands the corner. I like this move. We're, 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 even though we're not really having a major effect on Black's territory, like we're starting to make this kind of shape, um, there, um, this keeps pressure on this group. Uh, so, so to go back, is there like a uh, sequence to the one eye on the bottom? Or I, mean, I don't know if you want to go through all that. Oh, here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Something like this. Just one eye. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Um, so even even though I don't, again, I don't, it's one of these situations where I don't think this is the best move on this board at the time. I still think this is like a thing, um, and even locally, this is probably better or right here um, because even with this move, the corner is still uh, weak. So locally, this might even be better. Um, I like the spirit of this move, right? This is this is like the type of move um, you know, say so single digit cues and down level players look for, right? That do multiple things. We're gonna reduce and lean on this while also attacking this, right? Dual purpose, helps keep our stronger, our corner a little bit stronger, leans on this, attacks that. This is a nice type of move. 
Um, again, I don't think it quite works well enough here, but it's, it's, it's a nice move. Black plays here. Black will even, even get a response. Okay. White plays here again. How is this stick feeling? A lot worse. Yeah, now you're starting to realize the power of this move, right? Black pushes from behind. We're now like coming, coming for the stick. Black says, hey, I totally got time to do this. What do you think? Is this good? Probably good against 14 cubes. <laughs> <laughs> it's magical against 14 cubes. <laughs> it's very risky though. Very risky. Uh, anyway, white responds this way. I think there's an argument to be made for white to respond this way though. I think even though even though you're giving black an easy connection, white can easily cover this group. And if white can force, let's say this group now can find a way to make two eyes. I don't think it can, but let's assume that it, it does. Remember this whole sequence of building a giant white wall here? Can you imagine what this board would look like if there was just a row of white stones all throughout here? Like, this is the only stone of blacks in the middle. White just plays a move like that, and the boom, this is all just white territory. Can you imagine? That's what you. That's 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 the type of imagining you guys need to do to beat these fourteen cues. So, oops, that was it. In the game, white plays here, black plays here, and white plays here. Normally, this is a, a co shape for the corner, except black has a stone here, and so it's not. It's actually not a co shape. This is just a legitimate uh, sequence. I don't know if in the game they knew this or not. Um, where should white play? Should guard that cut. Yeah, I play, play a move like this, right? Instead, uh, white is all, my name is Inigo Montoya, who killed my father, prepared to die. <laughs> this, this doesn't work. <laughs> He played on the critical point, the one-two point. He played on the critical point, but this is so, so maligned. Because uh, this, um, furthermore, there's a little bit of a problem. So, so you guys can see this, this Atari cove shape that's coming, but there's also this problem. Which I actually didn't react, so I don't know how it ends up. I'm wondering that right now. Play here. That doesn't work right, not a co. So, <laughs> one, two, three, four to one, two, three, four. White to play. White probably has to get more liberties. I don't know how this sounds. This actually might work for white. That, that uh, might come into play. It looks like this stone actually is useful in that very area. <laughs> um, black can't cut because of this stone. <laughs> anyway. In the game, black plays here and just does this thing to link up. You might be saying, but wait! Actually, the players say this exactly in the game. But wait, this this is this is like a co. Except not really. If they don't, if black just connects, what is white gonna do? This stone can never get enough liberties, right? It's gonna say Atari again. There's still imagine there's still a co going on. But like how how do you get more liberties with white? 
Black has four. You need to get this to essentially five liberties to win. The answer is you can't, so this, this isn't even a real code. Um, the players are kind of convinced that it is. Uh, so let's see, black takes, white extends, and black's like, aha, I fill the code. But no, you just, you just, four, it's only four liberties. That's, that's, that's the most white can ever get. White needs five to, to win this code. Black's going to miss the real code, so black plays there. Which means white comes up. And black's still kind of scared about this stone. And white even plays one more move, which I guess is fine. Before he comes back and quashes those two stones. Uh, can black save these two stones? Absolutely not, correct. And if you're thinking, ah, ah, what's the next move for white? You can just net. The black has found a genius sequence. Atari. <laughs> even if white connects, black's on an Atari. But even if white probably shouldn't connect, it's snap back. It's okay. Yes, see? So this and this kill these two stones. Uh, so how's this? Not dying. Not Black says it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, here we're gonna. I guess I guess we'll wrap up the game. But I'll just tell you sort of what happens. Um, both these players ignore this whole area for the next. Uh, 60 moves. <laughs> and indeed, actually, white does kind of build a giant wall here. <laughs> and gets a lot of this. The problem is that uh, uh, black, this black area actually expands all the way to this. Uh, black does get to save this. Um, and at the very end of this game, uh, these, this stick actually dies. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't supposed to die. The black, black even gets a stone here, the very end. Yeah, the, the ending shape, like, black gets this all connected. That's not that one. Uh, here. Like, in the end, it's all connected like this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and white throws in a stone down here. And black freaks out, I don't know, I can't explain it. <laughs> and basically thinks he's in a co-fight for this whole corner or something, and then doesn't make a co- anyway, it, it's, it's bad. So anyway, did we find some better moves for the 14 Qs? What did we learn? Tell me three things you learned. Make, make me feel like I did something good for you today. <laughs> Urgent before big. We've heard that lesson before. We. Well, it was a new we for today. Well, I don't have to be new. No, that's 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 too much. I'll uh, I'll take some old some old standbys. To play big moves on the side instead of continuing locally when it doesn't matter very much. Yeah, these little these little squirrel acorn moves, right? Black really likes them, and in the end, I'd like to say they cost him the game, but it, it's not really what cost him the game. It's it's they died over here for no reason. <laughs> really cost him the game. Uh, but yeah, you can't, you can't just keep making two space bases for strong stones. You make bases for stones that need help. If your stones are strong, you need to have the bigger dreams. All right, well, give me one more. Yeah, actually, I'm not sort of quite got that one right. Yeah, it's like all this stuff? Yeah, yeah, I mean, what, you, like, what like, you were just saying was... Yeah. Like, you guys remember this part of the game? Yeah. Like a white played here, yeah. and black played here. <coughs> There's already strength. All these are strong. Yeah. You have to play a strong move. 
you can't just connect all your stones in the third line and make all these little tiny bases. Okay, so when, when you have enough strength, you should put it somewhere else. Here, here's, here's just an always ever present axiom. I don't know. Some <laughs> thing you need to know. If you're strong, do crazy shit. <laughs> if your stones are strong, do crazy shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. Okay. <laughs> That's a goat. If your stones are weak, play solid. <laughs> Fix your problems, and then you get to party. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a there's a core, there's a appendage to that last one is if you're weak, your stones are actually strong. If your opponent is also weak, you can go back to doing crazy shit. <laughs> So my stones are weak, I should play crazy stuff so that my opponent doesn't notice that. That's if your stones are desperate. There's a difference between desperation and weakness. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm desperate a lot. <laughs> if you're desperate, again, go back, yeah, it's, it, you, can, you can go back to playing just whatever, you know, because you need to just make something work. Be, be as extraordinarily creative as you can possibly be when you're desperate. Uh, but when you're weak, just play a few solid moves to make sure you're not weak anymore, and then you can go back to having fun. Sort of like anything in life. You know, you gotta do your homework before you go to the big frat party. Is it possible to review this game later? Like, I see you're recording it. I mean, are you, is it gonna be online somewhere? Or? Yeah, we'll be on YouTube. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you'll, you'll, we'll hear your voice on camera. You'll be famous <laughs> after this league. You'll be so famous. All right, feel good? If you guys wanna play some games, 